From a distance, it would be very easy to think that this iron is part of the Mizuno MP range. MP being a classic looking model, a range that has got a deep rooted heritage in traditional looking clubs and clubs that professional golfers have used over many, many years, the likes of Luke Donald. In fact, this is a JPX 850 model. This one in particular is the JPX 850 Forged. JPX has always been a club designed for those who really like the look and feel of Mizuno clubs, but perhaps didn't have the playing capabilities to be good enough to use a Mizuno MP iron. Now, on the shelf and to look down on, these could easily be an MP model. The JPX 850 Forged is a stunning looking club without being too intimidating. I would say almost every manufacturer has tried very hard to produce an iron that is compact, looks good at a dress, but also is forgiving and long. It's normally the case that a compromise has to be made somewhere along the lines in one of those areas, but the engineers at Mizuno are promising that these do all of those things. The main way that they say this happens is through a new material called boron. Boron is 30% stronger than the steel used in previous Mizuno forgings, and what that enables them to do is make the face much thinner as a result of that should be more powerful and produce added distance through the entire set. The cavity back is stabilized and they say that again helps the thin face to rebound again should help you to hit it further. That is the key technology there are a couple other pieces in here there's a pocket cavity design as you can see in the mid and the long irons this doesn't come into the shorter irons because Mizuno say you won't need the forgiveness there and this shallow cavity will offer you more control but the deep pocket here in the mid and the long iron should help you get the ball up in the air help you to launch it help you to hit it further these are stronger lofts than MP which has always been the way with JPX irons again the engineers tell us that because of the design because of the boron because of the thin face it's very easy to get the ball up in the air so the combination of the two again should result in added distance now as I say it's very difficult to make a head this size be more forgiving and go long so we're going to test it out here at Lumine on the golf course with GC2 we're going to look at the numbers and see whether these golf clubs are longer and are more forgiving if Mizuno have achieved that here it will be an extremely impressive combination So I've just spent a fascinating couple of hours here at Lumine out on the golf course and then incorporating the GC2 launch monitor just to get some numbers and to compare this with some other clubs. A couple of things to note immediately, I think if you blind tested this, the vast majority of golfers would say that it was a Mizuno MPI and it's stunning behind the ball but what it does is it just gives you that little bit more confidence with a thicker top edge than you'd expect to see from even a, the biggest MP model. It's a beautiful looking club but without being intimidating. The feel on offer comes across very much as MP. It's crisp, it's a beautiful sound off the face and it's something that I really enjoyed hitting and I know a lot of different golfers would, would particularly enjoy. In terms of performance levels, I was really impressed with the forgiveness on offer. I hit a couple of bad strikes with this uh, off the bottom of the club and the drop off in numbers wasn't too severe. I think a very important thing for all golfers is to find consistency through the set. I think when you go to, to very much oversized game improver clubs, if you catch one out in the middle, they can really fly go distances you weren't expecting. With this one, it was all pretty consistent shots that hit the middle of the face and ones that were slightly off the bottom. We've been testing a number of different iron models today. Just out of interest, I took the Ben Ross Hot Iron, which is a is an oversized head. It's designed to really help golfers who want to look at something confidence inspiring behind the ball. It sits in a very different category to this model, but why I thought I would try it is to look at the distance on offer because clearly Mizuno are focusing on distance here. And with the Ben Ross model, I hit it on average 154 with a six iron, which for me is a very good distance, is longer than I hit my current model. This iron was up there with it, but from a much more compact head. They clearly designed it very different types of golfers, but it was in interesting to see the distance on offer was very similar it just goes to show that the boron and the new face design clearly works it's very clear that an iron of this head size won't be for every golfer some will want an oversized look a bigger head to look down on behind the ball but this will suit many types of player and particularly those who have perhaps improved over the years are looking to progress into a more compact model but don't want to sacrifice the distance as a result
JPX 850 forged. You're getting so much from this. It's worth mentioning there is a JPX 850 standard model. That's a larger head. It very much looks like a golf club designed to help you get the ball up in the air to hit it further. So if you're really lacking confidence, then that is probably where you're going to want to look. But this is a fantastic golf club and at £100 per club it's coming in cheaper than the entire MP range. So what you're getting is MP feel with added forgiveness at a lower price point. It really is a top performing iron that looks stunning both in the bag and behind the ball. Boron clearly works and this is set to be a really top performer for Mizuno in 2015.